What's going on, Chavez in Slovakia? Today we're here to do something a little bit uh, different. This is a um, ant hill castings. So there are some ants, and I don't know if these people are professionals or not. We have a couple of different, um, couple of different videos here, and I don't know if these, if these people are professionals or not. But in, in some cases, you have um, ants that are considered pests. Okay, so they're not just, you know, so like if you have ants in your house, of course you have the right to get rid of them, right? But if you have, sometimes there are ants in public places that need to be removed, okay? And that can either be harm to crops, it could be harm to other animals, it can be any of those types of things. And um, and so one of the solutions people came up with is actually casting. They take the ant hills that they remove and turn them into art. So you superheat aluminum till it gets to liquid, and then you pour it down the ant hill, and then you dig it up afterwards. Um, so I've met a couple people in Vegas who are actually interested in getting into some of that, but the problem is here in Vegas, the ground is extremely hard, and there's a lot of rock and clay in the ground here. So digging it, getting an ant hill in a place where you can actually dig it up is very problematic. Um, and it's not legal to do this in a lot of places here in Vegas, but we'll uh, we'll, we'll check out a couple of vids of um, casting on ant hills. So this is uh, ant hill art. This is the whole YouTube channel of ant hill art. So seven inches by eight inches. So that mound is actually gigantic. I think they made it themselves. I've been pouring the aluminum in, obviously. And um, the ant hill hole is only about twice the size of an ant itself. So this mound, you can tell they made themselves. It's probably to prevent just setting the whole place on fire, honestly. It's a little bit of, yeah, yeah. That's definitely a mound they made themselves of sand. And so now here comes the digging part. Look at that. And of course, <clears throat> as the aluminum goes underground, it cools down and hardens, right? So you pour in a liquid aluminum, and what you dig up, of course, is a, uh, it's just the outline of the ant hill as it goes down the ant hole. They are using some very small shovels for this excavation project. Look how deep that is. God, this is so beautiful to me. And of course, if you get this dug up, I mean, I imagine you just spray it off. It's aluminum. It's not like it's going to break apart as long as you're careful with it. Man, I could imagine this thing breaking in half or something would be fucking devastating. That is pretty fucking big. Can you show us the size of this too? Yeah, okay, it's in a rear barrel. So yeah, it's fucking gigantic. There you go. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I imagine you just spray it off. That is so cool to me. I desperately want to get involved in this. We just have to find a place where we can actually do it. But we got a guy who's got all the stuff to superheat the aluminum. Isn't that cool? Brown bull ants are ants. I don't know if they're in Vegas. I do know they have a really painful bite, as we've seen probably in some of these videos we've seen together. They have a very painful bite, and I think they are considered actually pests, where you can eliminate them indiscriminately, like just because of how aggressive they are in nature. I know they are one of the more aggressive types of ants, though. I'm gonna look it up in just a minute. See, for whatever reason, they didn't scrape off the, that top layer right there is all, how would you call that? You know, like scrap of aluminum. It's like you superheat aluminum. All of the all of the crap floats to the top. You know, the pure aluminum's like at the bottom, pure, right? Aluminum's at the bottom after you superheat it. I'm super surprised they didn't just scrape that off or take it out or something. I mean, I guess after it gets that hot, how are you gonna do that anyways? Look how, like, liquidy that is though. Look how it flows down there. And that's uh, probably steam. That's not a fire, right? You can't set dirt on fire. So that's steam coming up through there. That is satisfying as fuck to me. I don't know about you. The impurities kind of bother me. Maybe that's just it mixing with dirt. <clears throat> but that junk on the top there kind of bothers me. And that must be a gigantic hole the way it's sinking down like that. They have more! Yeah, look at all that stuff coming off the top of that aluminum. 
I guess it still stays floated to the top, so I guess it's not that big of a deal since it's already at the top. This is so satisfying to me. I would love to make one of these, man. Aluminum, I mean, aluminum is super easy to find, too. You can buy this at so many places. Hopefully we get to see them dig it up, too. Right, so he's done pouring. It looks like it's done sinking down. Look at that nice little cylinder at the top. Holy Jesus, this is going to be a big one. Wow. I actually showed one of these videos to a guy when I used to do pest control. I showed him one of these videos. And uh, he actually ordered one to put, it, to put in his house. He ordered one of these uh, ant art things. And he had his polished before they put it up in his home. And it's so beautiful. See, that's where you got to be careful when you do this. See those tree roots and stuff that they're digging up? You can't, you're not allowed to do this type of excavation here in Vegas. <clears throat> Especially not in a public place. So if you're like a pest control technician or something, you actually have to be hired to do this. And then after you get hired, if this is the method that you decide to remove the anthill, I don't see them really complaining. This thing is massive. My lord. I wouldn't see them complaining just because they're not going to be out there watching you while you work after you get the contract, but then at least it's legal to do it. And you could just choose this as your excavation method, you know, for the ant hill. You just say that this is complete removal of the ant, whole ant colony. That is a lift that's used for like a, a car, uh, engine, isn't it? Like, what the fuck? That thing is massive. Wow. Oh, this is in, like, somebody's backyard. Wow. This is amazing. That is amazing. I don't know what those dimensions mean, but we know how big it is because we saw it in the fucking wheelbarrow. So that's all we need for um, for size comparison. Meat ants. Yeah, meat ants are super fucking destructive. Jesus Christ. God, they are so destructive. Well, thank you guys for joining me in this video. This one's fantastic. I, I love stuff like this too. And this is significantly different than some of the other videos that you guys send me. The reason I even brought this up is because you guys sent me a couple of videos of I think somebody using like baking soda or something like that on an ant colony completely ridiculous idea oh look at that so that's a really good way to see the mounds of sand that you can use there that's just to stop fire and stuff stop it from stop the aluminum from spreading where you don't want it at see how it's draining off on the side even even after you do that that's really bad but i mean it's molten aluminum so you gotta wait till it cools off before you fucking do anything with it meat ants nests too are really notorious for having many satellite colonies and spreading really wide that's why this whole area has been cleared out uh that's to get rid of the brush so they don't fucking start a fire out here and they worked all night long on this <clears throat> But yeah, you clear all that stuff out so you don't um, cause any fires. And that ant colony is going to be gigantic. So I guess they're pouring this in each individual hole. Look at that thing glow red there. That's so beautiful. Dangerous as all hell, but beautiful. Okay, so there's a little, there's them marking like where they poured everything at. That's a lot. That is significantly a lot more wow they okay this is getting intense we pulled out machinery on this one
God, I would be so stressed out somebody using this machinery to dig this shit out. But it is massive. Okay, so he's spraying it out to make sure they don't actually scrape up against it. Oh my God, that's so wonderful. I'm nerding out, guys. This is so one. Look at that. Oh, I get it. They put it on the thing so they can just lift the whole rack out. That's so smart. Wow, that's so fucking smart. Wow. Six days in. Look at that, bro. Oh my god. Wow, that's so impressive. So this one was 640 pounds. That is amazing. You know, I can't find a price for any of these things. I guess some of the ones that we watched actually aren't for sale, but I know some are. Um, it might just take you a little bit of searching to find some that are for sale. Um, but these ones aren't. The, the links, of course, will be in the description down below for the original videos. And, um, you know, some of these are controversial um, to do. Uh, not a lot of people, I know some, a lot of people don't agree with, like the method, like I was saying, like um, the reasons why I even started doing this is because somebody sent me a video of um, somebody pouring, doing like baking soda and an anthill, something that doesn't solve your problem. They're just playing with the ants and killing them basically on video. And that's not the same. It definitely feels different to me um, than doing something like this where it's actual pest removal. And in a lot of these situations, like they have some of the descriptions that the ants were removed from the colony before this even started. They treated the area and then they went to go make art from it. So that's very different than, than some of these other sections. Um, uh, other ways of doing some of this stuff. So, you know, it's different than just like you know, putting lighter fluid into the ground, lighting it on fire, and setting ants on fire, right? Like, that's just so different. Um, that's just so different. But uh, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one, Chavez, Slovakia. Thank you guys for coming through, and uh, I'll see y'all around, man. Peace. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My crocs are bold I go to church Wearing crocs I'm always turned Wearing crocs My crocs are great Your crocs are lame With my crocs I can cross a lake Crocs, 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 crocs Crocs, 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 